uh, he is one of the best, greatest son of uh, Polish nation. So one is certainly his role as a spiritual leader and an inspiration and empowering Polish people in their strife towards uh, democracy and freedom. Second is the uh, personality of John Paul II as, uh, as a person, very humble, hardworking person relating to people all over the world. And in Poland there is even a JP2 generation. Right. Uh, is uh, his, um, his idea to gather youth from all over the world, to, to keep the value of the Christianity and of the Roman Catholic Church inject in the new generation. So the World Youth uh, Days uh, started by, by Saint Paul, John Paul II. It's an idea that still lives on and this is something that we will remember as his legacy. My first meeting with the Saint John Paul II was and it still is a very special moment in my life. At that time I was a young seminarian and his imposing but paternal character uh, influenced a lot my life, my vocation. So I still remember his words. We had a short dialogue in Polish language, but what I like it uh, the, the best is his approach to the young people, his courage, his uh, integrity, coherence. He remained the, the whole life the same person as young priest, then bishop, cardinal, and finally as a pope. Faithful to the gospel, open uh, to the dialogue, his uh, ability to uh, negotiate, his diplomacy. We have to remember that at that time, Poland was under a communist regime and he was able to talk to speak to everyone, to announce the good news of Jesus Christ.